Ever wondered what the difference between fiber and microwave in network provider systems is? Well, today we delve into the fascinating world of network provision, where we'll unpack the marvels of both fiber and microwave technologies. It's like a journey down the information superhighway, only without the traffic jams. Scene script. Picture this, you're sitting at home trying to stream your favorite show, but the buffering icon just won't go away. It's frustrating, right? Well, the technology that powers your internet connection plays a significant role in your streaming experience, and that's where fiber and microwave come into play. Let's start with fiber. Fiber optic technology uses light signals to transmit data over long distances. It's like sending messages at the speed of light, quite literally. What makes fiber optics stand out? Three words, speed, reliability, and capacity. Fiber optic cables can handle a tremendous amount of data at lightning fast speeds, making them ideal for high demand applications like video streaming, online gaming, and cloud computing. But fiber isn't without its drawbacks. One of the biggest challenges with fiber optics is the initial cost. Laying fiber optic cables can be an expensive endeavor, especially in rural or remote areas. Plus, fiber optic cables can be susceptible to physical damage, which can disrupt your internet connection. Now, let's shift gears and talk about microwave. No, we're not discussing the appliance in your kitchen. In the world of network provision, microwaves use electromagnetic waves to transmit data through the air. It's a bit like how your radio receives signals, only a lot more complex. One of the biggest advantages of microwave technology is its flexibility. Because it transmits data wirelessly, it can reach places that fiber can't, like over mountains or bodies of water. And unlike fiber, microwave doesn't require any physical infrastructure to be laid down, which can make it a more cost-effective option in certain scenarios. However, microwave isn't without its issues. Weather conditions like rain or fog can interfere with microwave signals, leading to slower speeds or even outages. Plus, while microwave can transmit data over long distances, it doesn't have the same capacity as fiber, which can limit its usefulness in high-demand scenarios. So what's the takeaway here? Fiber and microwave both have their strengths and weaknesses. Fiber offers unparalleled speed and capacity, but comes with a higher initial cost and potential for physical damage. On the other hand, microwave offers flexibility and cost-effectiveness, but can be affected by weather and has lower capacity. In the end, the choice between fiber and microwave often comes down to the specific needs and circumstances of the network provider. It's a delicate balancing act between cost, capacity, reliability, and reach. But one thing's for sure, both fiber and microwave have a crucial role to play in keeping us all connected in this digital age.